exhibition of art, all the work of post office employees. You probably never thought when you queued up your weekly postal order that the quick and business-like people behind the counter might be artistic. How wrong you were. The proof? Well, the bust of Mr. Speaker Morrison, for example, is work of high order. Some contributions are by postmen. You don't have to be a Picasso to have a shot at modern art. If the morning's mail is half an hour late, it's worth it if the post office enriches the world of art. Also on view is a work shedding light on the revival of English football. Of great topical interest, Lady Chatterley and her lover, expurgated. The case for the defense. Ever wondered why so many pretty girls are employed by cinemas? If so, you won't be surprised to see the competition for Miss Cinema of Great Britain. The final was on Halloween at the Lyceum Ballroom. Third prize went to 18-year-old Ellen Lloyd, a London girl. The first went to Nottingham, a city famous for its pretty girls. Italian star Lick Battaglia made the award to lovely Glenys Bust. She won't be at home for a while yet, as part of the first prize is a holiday in Italy. Christianity, 1960, is expressed by the design of St. Paul's Walworth. It cost 90,000 pounds and replaces the old church destroyed in the Blitz. It hopes to be, as the parish churches always were in times past, a community centre, and there's provision for a youth club at ground level. The Bishop of Southwark knocked with his pastoral staff three times on the west door when he came to consecrate the new St. Paul's. To the Right Reverend Mervyn Stockwood, mitred and splendidly robed in gold, white and scarlet, and to the congregation, it gave great satisfaction that the Church of St. Paul's was restored to Walworth. The blend of modern and traditional styles symbolizes the faith itself. Old, yet ever new, 